Well, it's graduation season, and if you think your kids are smart, they may be so, but nothing like as smart as those that won the Cornell Cup. Welcome to Digits. I'm Simon Constable, and we have one of the team members who won the Cornell Cup this year. It's Nick McGill, University of Pennsylvania graduate, just graduated earlier this week. There he is. Nick, thanks for joining us. Congratulations on winning the Cornell Cup. Why did you win? I think it has something to do with the apparatus you're wearing. <laughs> Thanks, Simon. Yeah, so I'm part of the Team Titan from the University of Pennsylvania. Uh, my team members, Elizabeth Beatty, Nick Parada, and Nikolai Vladimirov, uh, supported us through the entire project, and we developed a powered upper body exoskeleton. So you can see right here I'm wearing this uh, apparatus that goes along my bone structure um, right here. And what is it used for, Nick? Uh, I mean, it, it looks very fancy. It, it, it's clearly impressed the judges. But for, for folks who don't really know the technicals of it, how would this be used? Yeah, so uh, when we envisioned this pro uh, project, we wanted to do something that would be applicable to those who had upper body injuries. So we developed a project that has uh, a motor at the elbow joint. So right here, um, it's actually used for physical therapy and uh, healthcare applications. Um, you'll see that we've got a power joint on the elbow. So you could imagine using this to uh, rehabilitate your muscles and on each of the joints we have Hall effect sensors. These allow us to track the range of motion of each of the joints. Hmm. And how did you come up with the idea for that? Is that something personal? You thought, okay, this, this is something that's not out there needs to be? Uh, yeah, so I actually got really interested in, uh, I guess, healthcare and electronics uh, last year when I took uh, Professor Mongrum's course uh, in embedded systems. I worked on a, a project using the Microsoft Connect uh, to develop an at-home physical therapy system. Uh, once I got involved in that, I started realizing that there are a lot of great applications and a lot of my team members had great input on uh, different sorts of healthcare applications and uh, had some good stories as well. Now I understand there's a very large heavy weight just off, off camera there. You're going to get that now and demonstrate yeah. for us how this might work. Sure thing. Nico, can I have the weight? So right here, uh, Nico just handed me a 20 pound weight, so basically what it allows me to do, this suit gives me extra strength so that I can you know, add on to my additional strength and also if I put on the ratchet braking, it gives me the ability to hold the weight in place. Now you can imagine in a warehouse setting where you're lifting a lot of heavy boxes or weights, um, you're going to be walking with, uh, with a big box and you want to hold it in place. So our suit has the capability to hold this weight and I don't have much fatigue at all. So if I wanted to be a muscle man, there is still hope for me. What is the maximum amount that that arm can lift? Yeah, so um, this arm, we found that uh, we can add 40 pounds onto what your uh, lifting capability is in existence. Now, uh, we weren't trying to max out the weightlifting capability. We were more, more aiming for assistive lifting and uh, reducing fatigue. Uh, as well as our apl applications in uh, physical therapy. Now, you, you and the team have invented this. You got, you got the prize. You got 10,000 bucks between you. What are you going to do with this project now? Are you going to commercialize it and get this sold off and patented and stuff? Well, hopefully we'll, um, we're looking at uh, continuing development. Uh, we're all coming back for grad school at the University of Pennsylvania. And uh, we've had all this great support from Cornell Cup and Intel. So with this money, uh, we'd like to continue working on different applications. You'll see right now we've got a joystick for our input. Um, so this allows me to go up and down and control the brake. However, we love to have electromyography, using your muscles instead to control the exoskeleton. So we're looking uh, right now to work through the summer and next school year uh, into continuing development on this project. So what, you're going back to grad school, and congratulations on getting into grad school as well as from graduating. Thank you. Uh, what will you do after that, do you think? Do you think you're going to become a, a, a scientist, a, a mad scientist, if you like, or, or go and be an entrepreneur? <laughs> well, uh, I'd like to say a little bit of both. I mean, at this point, we've found a lot of great success with uh, the projects we've been working on. So I think we've all been inspired to continue to work on our own projects, maybe develop our own companies. Okay, thank you very much. Nick McGill, member of the team that just won the Cornell Cup USA. Thank you for your time, sir. Thank you very much, Simon. Have a good one. I'm Simon Constable, and that was Digits.